video diary overcoming obstacles or trials so in life things don't always go your way and either because of the choices that you've made or that um, things have that's been um, haven't been given to you by dis by life, I guess. And one of the things that you need to remember is to uh, never give up. And it's hard. It's plain and simple hard. It wouldn't be a trial or an obstacle if you didn't have to um, work or do something to overcome it, to learn from it. Um, it's just, there are gonna be times that you're gonna fall and that's okay. You did not fail. That's very important to remember is um, just because you hit this wall or hurdle and you fell down, the most important thing to do is pick yourself up, one, two, learn from it or analyze what happened, so think about it, and then three, learn from it or um, yeah, learn from it, meaning like how to pre prevent yourself from this happening again. And it might be something similar and you could still fall from it or fail. I don't want to ever, I don't like the word fail. Um, but anyways, if, if you hit that roadblock again, even though it could be similar, it's okay. This is how you learn. Um, like I said, d another thing that um, you need to realize is you're, you're, you're your own worst critic. Meaning, you know, a lot of people, there's gonna be people that support you and there's gonna be people that take you down. And it's okay to have both of those types of people in your life. But it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, this is another thing that I've learned. It does not matter what anybody else thinks. One, you do it for yourself. Two, you please yourself. Three, the only person's happiness is yours and I don't know if that's worldly or spiritually but at the end of the day um, you have to be happy and content with yourself now I will have another blog about or a diary talking about uh, my convert um, experience, but with me being in the um, in the in a in our religion is that you know um, you know what makes you stronger makes you. Um, harder like these these things that our Heavenly Father puts on us um, makes us stronger makes us learn so we can um, 
like a piece of metal. The more you work it, the harder it gets, um, I've been told. And um, anyways, I've had a lot of obstacles. Um, I'm not the, I don't learn very fast. It takes me a while to pick things up. Like in school, uh, I have a very hard time uh, with spelling and reading, and those two things go hand in hand. I mean, if I like, if I would love to ring, read, I think I would be better at spelling. But since I don't like to read, I'm not good at spelling and grammar. It's very confusing. There's like three different ways, you know, half a dozen ways to sp spell there, or, um, you know, T-H-E-R, or T-H-I-R, um, T-H-E-I-R, or, you know, just, there's so many different meanings, and it gets confusing. Um, so, I've had to overcome that. Um, I was found out at a very early age about it takes me a longer, a little longer to pick things up. So in a normal stream class, I was not able to keep up with everybody else. So therefore, I needed to have more time. So I was put in a different in a different type of class environment. And um, sorry, due to that, I was able to excel. And I didn't have to take all the normal classes that a normal person would have to take, but I still graduated. Um, You know, things are things happen for a reason. And when you're going through it, it's hard to remember that. And another thing is, is um, let's just say it doesn't have to happen to you. It could happen to you. Let's use my wife, Heidi, as an example. She's a, she got breast cancer. She did not sign up for this. I did not sign up for this. This happened when um, Chloe was uh, just a little like between two and three and Lindsay, or no. Um, so Lindsay was like two or three and Chloe was five to six. I apologize. And um, you know, This, this news gets told to us and it's all about percentages. You know, oh, you know, it's self-contained and there's no, it hasn't spread anywhere and, you know, the margins are good and, you know, all, everything's like percentages. And then the procedure ha goes on and then things start falling apart. Um, so you have to, you know, it did, it did move on in her, her body. So now you have to, she has to have radiation and chemo and um, all this stuff to kill the viruses. And this just knocks people down, flat out down. I mean, I've never seen anybody, uh, in those types of conditions. Um, and it was a weekly what? Yeah, no, every two, every other day type of a thing, twice a week for so many months, you know. Um, anyways, sorry, I was fortunate that um, I was able to take care of her during those during that time. Uh, taking the Family Leave Act from the bank and just focusing on her for those couple weeks, taking care of her during those crucial times 
we figured out when that would be. When would family be able to help out? When would I be able to assist during the most time that was, you know, when was I to need to be a part of that the most? Um, so rely on family, rely on your friends. Um, and don't always, like I said earlier, don't always go with somebody that is going to tell you what you want to hear. You need to have somebody that tells you the truth, even though sometimes the truth hurts. And they're telling you this because they love you or they, they care about you, you know, hand in hand, love and care, you know. And um, when, when we were going through this tr huge trial, it, because it affected us all as a family, the girls were young enough that Chloe might remember a little bit, but Lindsay doesn't remember any of it. And um, sometimes you just have to turn trust in the Lord, you know, with all your mind, mind and strength, trust in the Lord. And it's hard to give up control. So, um, you know, instead of having two hands on the w steering wheel, give up some of the control. Let go with one of the hands. Let him try to assist in, in whatever you need to do to overcome this. Or, yeah you or the person that you love, like a wife or uh, whatever, whoever the person, whatever this is, this trial is that involves you, allow them to, or allow Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ and through the Holy Ghost direct you and guide you and bless you with the things that you need. And a lot of times those are not able to, you're not able to feel these things or f see, yeah, feel, see, experience anything until it's over. And then when you look back, you see all these blessings. But when you're in the heat of it or in, in the trenches, as you might hear people talk about is like when you're doing the work and when you're going through it, Sometimes these things, you know, there's just so much going on that you don't uh, recognize it until after it's over. So she's uh, like 15 years breast cancer free, um, and we can look back and see all these blessings that we learned from that trial, even both of us, her in different ways and then me as a caregiver in different ways but we both experience it and we'll tell our own stories because it's individual even though we both experienced it it didn't happen to me so i didn't go through the same types of stuff that she did health wise but emotionally it affects me so therefore i experienced it and another thing that I wanted to say back to you, my, um, like, um, you know, um, it takes time. So let's say, just say I've worked for the bank for um, 28 years and I just finally was promoted to a work director. And I spent all this time proving myself are trying to prove to people that I'm smart enough. Um, and why? You know, who, who was I trying to prove? Um, me? My mom? I mean, at the end of the day, no, like I said, n nobody cares. I felt like it was a huge achievement, but um, am I going to stop learning or challenging my, myself to move on to, 
to maybe go further up the uh, ladder in my career? No. Um, I'm not that type of a person. I'm always wanting to learn and grow. I'm always going to try to be the team player. I'm always going to be Jason, who that's who I am. I'm not just going to, now that I've got this, I'm going to relax. Um, that's not who I am. Anyways, these are just some of my thoughts on my mind tonight. Um, thanks.